We are in Walmart right now getting a couple things. We are got some crazy bedhead going on. And then Susie. Hey Susie. Hi Susie. And Hi, uh, sit down. You're fall. Hi. Hi. A few last minute things for their party and then a couple grocery things. Hudson's got his little chair of divers. Loaded up and trying to find the car. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was a complete disaster. I ran into Belks because I had, I got a pair of pants for McLean on Black Friday. And I was hoping to exchange them because I got 12 months, which she normally fits in great. But these are a little short, so I was hoping to get some 18 months. But of course, they were sold out and didn't have any. And then I found a pair of red pants that I wanted to get Hudson because I've been looking for a pair for Hudson. And then he was awful I have never had him be that bad in a store I put her in the carrier and I was holding him because I was gonna put him in a buggy because I know they have little buggies there well I don't know if the only kind of buggies they have are the ones you can't put kids in or if they just the other ones were not there but they only had these little buggies that had a big sign like do not put kids in the buggies I'm like okay I just need to look at this one thing so I didn't go back out and get the stroller I figured we'd be okay which it's 9 45 right now they usually go down like 9 9 30 for a nap so we're past nap time so they're tired but he had been fine and then as i was looking through the rack he was standing right there beside me Hi. then he starts running and i've got her in the carrier chasing him down and then finally as i get in line to pay he is just like flopping all over the floor like a typical two-year-old tantrum and there was a guy um that resembled Santa Claus and you know he's scared of Santa Claus now so that didn't help and this guy was trying to like walk around and make him think oh Santa Claus is watching me let me be good but it had the opposite effect because then he was freaking out because of that so oh, I was so glad to just get out of there that was awful good morning guys so I realized that I forgot to do an intro and I filmed some stuff at the store but I forgot to tell you good morning so um, it is now almost 11 o'clock. The kids are still sleeping. And we, um, as you saw, we went to the store, went to Walmart and to Belk's. Whew, and I was exhausted after that. So, and it was a rough night. Um, Hudson was up. He had an upset stomach at like 1230. And then he wouldn't go back to sleep. So, we ended up bringing him into bed with us. And he was laying on my pillow. And I'm sure most moms or dads have heard that noise. That like, it's... It's silent there's not even a noise but you just know it's coming and I shot up and sat up in bed just in time as he threw up all over my pillow it would have been directly on my face because he we were practically nose to nose so he would have thrown up on my face had I not jumped up when I did so um, got him settled and then she woke up for some reason she um, I guess wasn't feeling good I'd put her in some pajamas that were just like a shirt and pants and she had pulled her socks off and the shirt was riding up because her stomach and back were a little bit cold. So I figured maybe she just got cold and couldn't go back to sleep. So I put her in a sleeper and I put, um, or gave her a little bit of a bottle. And she went back to sleep and slept good. Uh, so I'm like, I guess we're going to have to stick with sleepers through the winter because she will pull her socks off and then her feet get cold. And then, you know, when your feet are cold, everything is cold. So, but needless to say, all of that was to say that we had a long, rough night, and I am tired. I'm not feeling great. My throat is hurting. So much to do with the kids' party this weekend. Tomorrow is McLean's birthday. I cannot believe it. I cannot even handle the fact that she is going to be one tomorrow. <sighs> um, but I've gotten some of the stuff done. I was about to say most. I won't say most. Some of the stuff done for their party. I have her tutu and her outfit done. I have her high chair banner done. Um, I did the letters and everything for his high chair banner. I just have to string the ribbon. And then I've got part of their banner because I was trying to come up with something cute but I couldn't think of anything. So I'm just going to do a banner that says a princess and a knight. Um, so I got the a princess part cut out and then I didn't have enough paper so we had to go today and uh, we actually went to Joanne's too. That was another place we went. And so I got some paper there to finish cutting his part of it out. So I've got to do that and then I think later today, I don't know if it's going to be during the day or after the kids go to bed tonight, we're going to go over to, uh, or 
Anyway, I'm going to go over to my parents' house and go ahead and like start putting up some of the decorations because tomorrow, her birthday, we're super packed, have so much going on. And um, I mean, Sunday there'll be a little time before the party because the party doesn't start till 2, but I'd rather just have it done now than, you know, trying to scramble it in. But as you've seen, I'm, I'm a procrastinator, so it's probably going to be Sunday when I'm doing it. So we'll see. So we're just hanging out now. The kids are both awake and they're having a little snack. I am trying to finish editing her birthday, or not necessarily her birthday vlog, but just like the video I made for her first year from birth all the way up, trying to get the last little touches done on that. And I, um, I have to tell y'all, because we have an open adoption. I think we have a very good open adoption with both of the birth moms. before she turns one. Are you going to turn one in the morning? You can't even handle it, you guys. How has this happened? Me and your mama were in a hospital. <laughs> Patiently, unpatiently, matter of fact, waiting on your cute little butt. We were sleeping. I slept on the most uncomfortable little couch in the world. Mama's in a hospital bed. And we were waiting on you. On you. I think you did poop. Lay in her down. The last night, she's gonna wake up a one year old. Mm. Say good night. Mm.